So today you join me at Hampton by Hilton Gatwick. And this is what you get tonight for £105 with breakfast. So I have checked in already. Go, let's go and have a look at the room. It is connected to the airport terminal. And this walkway here brings you right into the north terminal. Right, I'll join you in the room. Right then, so I'm in room 410. So I've just checked in. I've just put my bag in as well. Let's go and have a look. So this is what you get tonight for £105 with breakfast. <laughs> and this hotel is connected to the airport. So really, really happy. Look at this, it's not a bad size room. Normally airport hotels are really, really tiny. You feel really claustrophobic. But not bad. So it feels like a homely atmosphere in here. You can tell it's just a bit um, older, the hotel, with the darker wood, but it does feel nice. So these Hampton by Hilton's beds are really, really comfy. And they're just really good quality furniture. So most things are thought about really well in this place. So you've got USB charging, both A and C, at the side of your bed, as well as plug sockets too. And that's both sides of the bed, so that's really good. You've both got your own little table or bedside table. You've got a phone as well, and you've even got air conditioning. Now I read online it's not too good the air conditioning, but I don't really need it today to be honest. It's nice and warm uh, in here, and <laughs> it's freezing outside, so... The only negative I can see from this room is there's no bag stand. So, yeah, I could put it on that desk there, but I've actually brought my laptop with me and I need to look, do some stuff on that. So, I mean, it's going to be on that chair tonight, isn't it? It's not a major issue, but there's certainly room for it in here. So, that would make a good addition, I reckon. So, you have got a chair, but obviously I'm using it as that. So, what else we got? Well, we've got a decent sized desk. Yeah, it's around this pillar. So they've made the use, uh, best use of the uh, what's available. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. That TV there is absolutely massive. Look at the size of that. That's got to be like a 16-inch TV. It, I don't know if it picks up on camera. But yeah, it's massive. So you actually get free Wi-Fi here as well, which is really good. So as part of Hampton by Hilton, you actually get a free breakfast too. So a full cooked breakfast. And what I wasn't aware of is they actually start breakfast at 4 a.m. So because it's an airport hotel, it's a lot earlier than what it is normally. So 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. is continental only. And then from 6 a.m. onwards, is cooked. So I think it's really good that they do this. Right then, what else have we got? Well, we've got tea and coffee. So the cups are facing the wrong way around. But I do like how they're on this little tray. We've got Kenko and Nescafe. Some PG tips. And I assume this is a little ice bucket. Uh, you can, I'm sure you can get ice in reception, but we all want to know is the kettle clean tonight? Well, let's have a look. It's a nice little travel kettle And yeah, it doesn't look too bad to be honest Right then, so what else have we got? Well, we've got this weird design. I've not seen this before which is a wardrobe but It's also your door to your bathroom. So that's cool, isn't it? We've got quite a few of the stealable hangers in there Normal hangers there, the iron and ironing board is it clean on top, I wonder? Yeah, it is. Happy days. Right, so... Like, even here, nice big wide corridor. You don't normally get this in an airport hotel. It's normally really, really cramped. So, bathroom. Well, you can tell that's an older style, but that looks really good, doesn't it? A nice marble sink. And although it's compact, it's not cramped. Got all these little shelves for your towels. I love how they just jam them in there like that. It looks great. And they've took the extra time to sort these out here. I mean, you could have just left them in there, but it just looks so much better, doesn't it? Pleasing to the eye. So you get all your soaps included. Conditioner, shampoo and body wash. And then we've got moisturiser and hand wash over here. So nice. Another good feature is when they built this place, they thought about it. So they put the controls here. So you don't have to actually get wet through before you get in. So you can turn them on here, and there is loads of pressure. So I can see that straight away. Yeah, and it's pretty hot as well, so happy days. I mean, the shower head's facing the wall. It's facing the wall so you don't get wet through. 
So yeah, they thought about this and this is quite a big double shower, isn't it? You even got your bath mat there, look. Right, well, there's not a lot to show here. Uh, they've also got a restaurant and a bar area. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using that or not. Um, but I will have a look around this place and you can see your seat itself. Let's have a look at the view I've got. So. Yeah, it's very close. You've got your Premier Inn over there. This is your car park just in front. And then just to the side of here is the terminal. So I parked in there and you walk across and it's got its own bridge that links it. Really good. Right guys, so it's the next day now. <clears throat> and I slept really good in this bed. You know what, for an airport hotel, I didn't hear any noise at all from the window. I think this is triple glazed, so really, really good. Bed was comfy, temperature just right as well, so. I'm, I was happy last night. Uh, shower, so just had a shower. You know what? Really, really good quality, decent. Loads of pressure. So I'm gonna go and get this free breakfast now and see what that's like. Let's come along and have a look. These floorboards are really creaky. Nice design, though, wasn't it? Right. So, to operate the lifts, you've got to use your key card. machines are out of order, both of them, and we've just got normal tea and coffee, that's a shame isn't it, yeah, I've got all these fruit teas so I'll have one of them, and then we've got the cordial, which is definitely not apple juice and orange juice. So I'm staying here because I'm flying to Thailand, so stay tuned and you'll see some more videos shortly. Right then, so that's it for this one, let me know in the comments below what you think, would you guys stay here? Personally, I think it's a good deal. Um, it's an airport hotel connected to the airport with a free breakfast for this sort of price. I think it's good. Let me know in the comments below what you think. There are other options here as well. You've got a Premier Inn. Uh, there's also a Sofitel, there's a Block, a uh, Yotel, and a few other things. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next one.